Hey everyone, Tom here again. Uh, basically, I had the idea of building an aircraft in Kerbal Space Program designed entirely around the engine. So, uh, largest and most efficient air breathing engine in the game is the Goliath turbofan. Um, specific impulse of this engine is 12,600. So, it's a very high efficiency, um, also a pretty powerful engine. So, uh, you can also see that this aircraft has pretty huge wingspan. There's an aeroplane main wing and I've attached um, additional wing surfaces to that. With this it's a it's a really rigid wing um, and because these are connected they're not actually connected to each other they're connected directly to the wing so it makes it a really rigid wing. Um, as you'll see it won't it won't flop around at all it's very steady during flight. Um, and I will show you just how little thrust it takes to get this thing off the ground. We have 100 units of liquid fuel and um, I will basically monitor the thrust of the Goliath and we will try to take off with the minimum, bare minimum um, amount of thrust required. So this is probably not going to be enough, so I'm going to just very quickly, I'm going to quickly tap shift once we, so my thrust is at 5 kilonewtons. It might be enough. Let's see what happens. So I'm up to 6 just because these wings are so big and they're generating so much lift you can see we've used four tenths of a unit of liquid fuel I do not think this is going to be enough so I'm going to tap shift again I think it will get off the ground at around 15 units of thrust. So let's see if we get up to that. We are going to need a little bit more. Okay, we're at 15 units of thrust, 30 meters per second. We're approaching the end of the runway. I'm going to try to just let this go to the end of the runway. I feel like it's close. I feel like it's close. You can see it start to shimmy. Yep, there we go. So we are up and running at 18 units of thrust, 40 meters per second. and let's see if we can climb at 10 degrees. We're good. So this thing you can see is just sipping on fuel. You could go pretty far very slowly but you could go pretty far with this just on a very small amount of liquid fuel. Um, the other cool thing, like I said the Goliath is actually a really powerful engine so it can go it outputs something like 320 units of thrust at max. Um, so if we kick this up, we'll actually see how fast this can go. Two hundred meters per second. Two fifty. Three hundred.
And note, we are definitely burning a lot more fuel. It's counting down in single digits instead of in tenths and hundredths of units. But we'll do a vertical climb. I think uh, this tops out at about 328 meters per second. It's pretty sweet. And it's pretty maneuverable. So even with those long wings, because they're attached to the aeroplane main wing, you don't get much movement during turns, which is really nice. It's still going. Thrust is dropping at 7,000. So we're basically doing a vertical climb. Let's see if we can get to 10,000 um, 10, meters. I think we'll easily be able to do it, and then I'll take this thing back for a landing. We made it easily. Turning back. You can see the air is a little bit thinner up here. And I'm going to take this thing pretty much just plummeting straight down. So now we'll get a different max speed. Vertical dive max speed. I think I don't want to find out what that is, so I'm going to pull up. I don't think we have enough distance to actually figure that out. And we'll take it down to that extremely low level of thrust that we had before. There we go. I'm doing a loop to bleed off some of the velocity. down. Still going pretty fast, 130 meters per second. I'm going to loop it again. Down to 60 at the top. This will probably be fine. And we're at 17 units of thrust. With these big wings, you want to come in pretty much dead center. Cutting thrust entirely now. I'm doing some little hops. And it is taking a while to slow down. I think... Oh my god. Alright. It is, uh... It is jumpy. I want to get this thing down on the ground. So basically, it could have come in at about that minimum 40 meters per second. You can see it's still, still just hopping. And we lost some wing bits there. A little few more, but we are going to stop. Whip that thing around. Yeah, we landed it. Uh, so I think if I had come in at slightly lower speed, that would have been a more successful landing. But Valentina is still alive, so I think we're in good shape. Uh, and we used about 50, 50 units of fuel for that whole run. Um, so pretty cool. I thought that was interesting to design an aircraft around a single engine, um, the largest and most fuel-efficient engine. Uh, might play around with this thing more later, but I hope you enjoyed. Thanks.